Hello and welcome to another instalment of our Intuition Week and today we are talking all about tips really to get you in tune with your intuition and I'm going to be sharing seven tips with you. Now probably one of the most popular requests I get is how to get more in tune with your intuition or your instinct. Now many people are fascinated about their intuitive abilities and wonder how they can tap into it consciously as well as regularly <clears throat> so like i mentioned i'm going to give you seven tips on how to do that now if you've been following my intuition week then you will know that i've been sharing um that intuition is available to everybody it's naturally available for us to tap into and there are definite ways to be able to enhance your intuition and enhance your intuition really means harnessing your understanding of it because it's always there it it, it doesn't it, it's not waiting if you like for you to do something specific except to understand it get in touch with it to notice it to be aware of it so really this is going to be helping you to get in touch with your intuition so my number one all time tip is always going to be meditation now meditation has numerous benefits and if you haven't haven't undertaken meditation yet then i would highly recommend it and if meditation seems like it's a step a bit too far for you then try mindfulness first i mean mindfulness and meditation are very very similar <clears throat> in those steps anyway um but really uh what it means is that when you're doing the meditation you are able to hear feel and understand you better now this is fundamental uh, in being able to understand what your intuition feels like for you, um, how it presents itself. And the more you're aware of the subtleties, the better you're able to harness it for your highest good. So meditation is my number one. Number two is awareness. Now, secondly, really, if you want to um, increase and pay attention, you need to have more awareness of you as a person so all of your senses your thoughts your feelings now meditation is going to give you the foundation to be able to slow down um, but then you're going to need to have the awareness to be able to decipher your intuition and start to develop an awareness of it on a deeper and more conscious level the number three <clears throat> is nature now as with meditation time out in nature going for walks uh, really helps you to slow down, to be connected to all that's in and around you. It also just helps you to be yourself, be centered. I also call this grounding. Now I go out into nature to reconnect regularly and it's always helped me to get back in tune on a deeper level with myself and my intuition. <clears throat> and as an added tip, if you ever find that you've been in tune with your intuition and you've been harnessing it and then you suddenly experience a lull or you're feeling like there's a discord or that you really isn't going as well as you originally thought then that is a time to get back out in nature because the grounding process the <clears throat> being out in nature really is one of the fastest deepest ways to be able to reconnect um to your intuition now number four <clears throat> so number four is act on it now we receive intuitive messages and feelings all of the time the more that you act on these intuitive messages and thoughts uh, the stronger and the more identifiable they become so act on any feeling that you get in your gut evaluate it afterwards and help yourself to recognize the signs so that they become stronger and more profound for you number five it's a really good one. Number five is release judgment. Now, it's a big one. <clears throat> so release any judgment or resistance for that will hinder your connection. Be in a state of openness and allowing. Be in a state of observation as opposed to control. When we try to control our experiences, we are often closed off to the possibilities that we are yet unable to know. So as I mentioned before on why intuition is your internal roadmap, and I will link to that in the comments, we make decisions and opinions based on the past, on what we already know. Um, and that can close us off from discovering 
new possibilities, new opportunities. So for that to happen, for us to be able to tap into that, we need to be in a state of observation and open to new ideas, thoughts and feelings. So number six, number six is allow. Now allowing is a wonderful state to be in, uh, but it requires pr practice <clears throat> really for most people. And um, it's the stage that allow that follows really from the releasing judgment. And when we're in a state of allowing, there is no resistance. And when there's no resistance, that just brings you complete access to your intuition. <clears throat> there's also no, um, there's no questioning. You're just basically um, uh, almost embracing every state that comes through without the judgment, without resistance, and with just openness um, and understanding. And that then allows you to be in an allowing state to allow that to kind of happen for you. Now, my last one, and another one that is extremely important, and this is something that I recommend for everybody, it's something that I do daily, literally daily, not a day that goes past in my life at the moment where I don't do self-development. Now, <clears throat> as with um, meditation, I personally believe that this is another fundamental area, uh, and not just for being in tune with your intuition, but also for ensuring that you can get to the best version of you that's possible. Now, self-development does also help you to get into in tune, if you like, with your intuition, um, because you're often receiving intuition that's guiding you on to the course of self-development anyway i kind of feel like they work hand in hand <clears throat> so self-development also helps you to align with the higher self it helps you to focus on taking personal responsibility a really big one um there's a spider that's coming down here <laughs> so yeah so uh taking personal responsibility for your life for direction and focus and by doing these things it also helps you to bring in those other steps so the steps from two to six as i mentioned earlier and these just help you to continue to be more and more in tune now i really hope that you found that these seven tips are really useful do let me know in the comments it would be great to hear from you and also if you um haven't caught up on any of the other videos that i've been doing during intuition week then do check them out. I will link them in the comments and I will see you tomorrow where we go through the seven tools for enhancing your intuition. So thanks very much for joining me. I will be speaking to you soon. So just as that, as it says in the corner, I'm Tracy Cornelius, Transformation Coach, helping you to achieve happiness and success in business, life and love. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye.